Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be looking at printing a 3D bullet. So I recently went shooting and I picked up a couple of these casings and I thought it might be nice to have a little 3D printed bullet that I could press in there and use these as some sort of decoration or something. Just a fun little project. So let's get into it. So when I measure this up, I can see over here that I'm getting 9.69, 9.7, might be slightly deformed from the firing action, but I'm going to set the outside diameter to 9.7, and then the inside diameter we're going to measure up here is 8.98, so it should be 9 exactly, so I'm just going to set it to 8.95 with a bit of a taper so that we can um, squeeze it in. Our first step is going to be inserting a canvas. So I'll click insert canvas and I will select an image from my computer. Click insert from my computer and I will select the bullet and I'll select the face. So we're putting it on that front face there. Okay. Now this is a uh, the image of the bullet and we're going to be tracing that section but first I want to calibrate this canvas so I'll go down to the drop down there right click on the image and say calibrate now what we can do is select between two points and we know that is 19 millimeters so now we've got this canvas this is more of a guideline rather than something we're going to actually use for the exact dimensions so I'm going to create a sketch what I can see here is our canvas is off center. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball the sketch, get that curve, and uh, then we'll work from there. But first, let's go line type, change it to construction type, and L. I just pressed L for the shortcut. From the origin, I'm drawing a construction line up. This is going to be our revolve axis. So I'm going to select spline tool, and from out the top over there, just going to start drawing a line more or less and there we go now what I want to do is make sure that this curve is uh, sort of as close to the same shape as possible and the distance here we said was going to be nine millimeters so that'll be 4.5 but now I need to fix the rest of the curve. So what we do is we'll just grab this and change that curve shape. Remember we don't have to be exactly the same as our actual bullet, but we do need it to be more or less. So I can actually turn this canvas off now because all I needed was this sort of shape to, to eyeball off. So I'm gonna turn my canvas off. So what I'm gonna do now is select the line tool, L. I'll start up top there. And you see if I hover over there, it gives me that blue dotted line. So I know I'm in line with that dot. And then we'll join them. So there we've got our closed profile. Now remember, this is just the top of the bullet. I want a piece that goes into the bullet. Um, I think I want that to be about five millimeters. So let me just draw down here. What I'm gonna do now is select the line tool again from this point doesn't matter where on this line because we can dimension it now to draw a line going past there and then we'll draw a line joining these two bear in mind this is not the shape at all that we're going to be using um, t for trim and i'll trim that section there now i'm going to dimension this top bit over here select that dot that dot and i want that to be 8.95 divided by 2. so we've got it going quite close to the edge there not quite on the edge I mean, these are very fine tolerances here, so um, I don't know how it's actually going to turn out on the print because I think our print accuracy is 0.01 millimeters or 0.1 millimeters, so we'll see what we get. So we've got our top section in, and now I'm just going to put a horizontal constraint because I can see that that's not quite horizontal. This one should have one on anyway, but now we can see that that is, um, that is fully constrained. You can see that one doesn't need 
but just to ensure we don't have our drawing doing funny things I'm just locking these in so the only line that can move is this line over here and that line will be determined by this the distance of this line so now D will dimension this line at 8 point let's go 8 5 over 2 so on this line we can see it's slightly off uh, 90 if I had to measure it we'll get we're gonna get we can see 89.4 degrees so that's our line there we're gonna go finish sketch what we're going to do next is revolve this profile around our revolve axis. So select revolve, select the profiles, and the axis will be this upright line. And OK. Now if I have a look at it, I can see we've got that slight taper to it, very, very slight taper, and we've got the head of a bullet. So I'm going to send this to the printer now. Well, first I'm going to send it to the slicer. Then we're going to print a couple and see how they turn out. Just going to drag and drop our bullet and just select the bottom will be that part over there so there's our bullet i'm going to print a couple of them just see how one turns out um, strength we'll make it two it doesn't have to be strong in full i suppose we can make that 25 and we don't need any supports so supports off slice plate We've got five minutes. Um, let's have a look and see what happens if we do three or four of them. Should be able to print that just fine. So, Control C. There we've got five. I'll slice plate and then we'll send it to the printer. So there, six minutes doesn't actually add much time. Uh, maybe let's do seven. So I'll just again control C V V and there we've got seven bullets. Slice plate. Eight minutes. So I'm gonna send us to a printer now and let's see what we get. Here you can see our bullet pushed in quite nicely. Uh, it did give it a bit of a squeeze to get it in, but we've got a few nice little bullets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section and check out some of the other videos. Till next time, cheers.